Russia dupes foreigners for war in Ukraine. Human trafficking network exposed in India. A major human trafficking network has been uncovered in India where individuals were offered to travel to Russia to work as assistants in the military but were subsequently coerced into joining the war against Ukraine, according to Reuters. The Central Bureau of Investigation of India reports that approximately 35 Indian citizens were sent to Russia through this scheme. However, India's Ministry of External Affairs previously only acknowledged about 20 men recruited by Russians. It is also reported that at least two men were later recruited for the war against Ukraine have died on the front lines. The Indian Embassy in Russia recently confirmed one of these deaths. The trafficked Indian nationals were trained in combat roles and deployed at front bases in Russia-Ukraine war zone against their wishes, says the Central Bureau of Investigation of India. Human traffickers operating in several states of India lured people through social media and local agents. During raids in various locations, including New Delhi and Mumbai, law enforcement seized 50 million rupees or $605,000 as well as documents and electronic records. Some of the suspects were detained for further questioning. In late February 2023, India approached the Russian Federation requesting the early release of some of its citizens working with the Russian military in support jobs. This statement from the MEA of India came after a local news agency reported that around 100 Indians were hired on contracts lasting at least a year. Citizens from many countries were seeking employment in the Russian military, including neighboring Nepal. Among them, the Indian embassy in Russia recently acknowledged for the first time the death of a citizen, Sri Mohammed Asfan, recruited for the war against Ukraine. Ukraine can stop Putin if U.S. provides weapons. Biden. Ukraine could stop the Russian President Vladimir Putin if it will be provided with the necessary weapons, states U.S. President Joe Biden in his address to Congress. Since President Lincoln and the Civil War, there have been undersolved at home as there are today. Putin's Russia on the march invading Ukraine and sowing chaos throughout Europe and beyond. If anybody in this room thinks Putin will stop at Ukraine, I assure you he will not. But Ukraine? Ukraine can stop Putin. Ukraine can stop Putin if we stand with Ukraine and provide them with the weapons they need to defend itself. According to the president, aid is being blocked by those who want to step away from global leadership. Biden also mentioned Trump in his speech and his support for Putin. Now my predecessor, a former Republican president, tells Putin, quote, do whatever the hell you want. That's a quote. A former president actually said that bowing down to the Russian leader. 
I think it's outrageous, it's dangerous and it's unacceptable, Biden said. According to the president of the US, the country cannot put Ukraine, Europe and the entire free world at risk. History is literally watching. History is watching. The US walks away if it puts Ukraine at risk. Europe is at risk. The free world will be at risk and bolding others to do what they wish do us harm. My message to President Putin, whom I've known for a long time, is simple. We will not walk away. We will not bow down, said the president of the US. Biden also stated that there are no American soldiers in Ukraine, and he promised not to allow this in the future. Earlier, it was reported that the Biden administration is considering assistance to Ukraine from the US Army budget. The aid could amount to around $200 million. Recently, the Senate passed a separate bill with funds for Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan. For the bill to take effect, it still needs to be approved by the House of Representatives and signed by President Joe Biden. According to CNN, the House of Representatives may vote on financial aid to Ukraine in late March or April.